What's good, Nation? Chef Mike's back. Um, like I promised, we had 200 subscribers. I was gonna bring somebody in, so we did actually do a random pick, and my buddy Jacob Zamora just happened to win. I'm very excited to see what he's got coming in, so he's gonna do a little collab. I called him up, and everybody that knows Jacob just let me know this boy's got game. So I'm like, huh, I better dress the occasion for this. So here he is, Jacob, come on in, brother. How you doing? Good. Hey, nice to see you, brother. You? Good, good, man. Nice to see you. Thanks for, uh, you know, following me and telling your friends. I'm sure everybody out there is, yeah. you know, learning a little bit. But what's up, man? I heard you got game. Look, did I know, dress the part at least? You did. I, I'm more of a Royals fan, but I brought you a different kind of game today. Oh, really? What'd you bring? I brought you some antelope today. Oh, snap. I'm sure you have some kind of good yeah. stuff to help us out with. Yeah, actually, I was thinking about doing tostadas tonight. So actually, the antelope would actually go perfect with this. Sounds, How about that? That sounds really, really good. Cool. So what I'll do is I'll get this stuff marinated and I'll cook some beans up and then I'll bring it back in and we'll tie some food, man. That's How's that sound, sound? That sounds really good. I'm cool, excited. bro. All right, man. We'll Thanks, see you buddy. in a minute. Thank yep. You. All right, guys, we're back. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is I'm gonna marinate this antelope. Um, it's a really good meat. I've had this before and it actually, I uh, compare it to the elk that I had one time too. It's really not gamey, so you really don't need to hit it with too many pungent stuff. Some of the stuff, if you do get a gamey piece of meat, you kind of want to soak it overnight in milk or buttermilk or something like that. This stuff, I found it, you don't have to do that at all. So we're just gonna do a cool basic uh, marinade here. So I'm gonna do a little bit of olive, olive oil or avocado oil, whichever one you have. This one's avocado. And I like to do a little bit of soy sauce. A lot of soy sauce. Perfect. And then got a few seasonings here. We got some lemon pepper. Some of Chef Mike's Southwest seasoning. A little bit of granulated garlic. A little bit of chicken bouillon. And then we're gonna do a fresh squeezed lime in here. Can't have tacos without lime. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. And I put the whole lime in there too, so you just squish both of them in there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get ourselves a gallon bag, or you can do a bowl or whatever, and you can marinate this up to, I probably wouldn't go over like eight hours, but a few hours, I've done it in an hour, it still tastes delicious. So we're gonna mix this up real quick, and then we're gonna throw it into this bag and let this meat marinate, and then we'll get into our beans. Get all that mixed up. All right, so we cut this open. You can tell already this stuff looks beautiful. It's really lean too, that's what I like about it. So it's not a lot of fat. Oh yeah, it looks delicious. All right, we'll be right back. I'm gonna put this in a bag and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. All right guys, now we got our antelope sitting in this bag all nicely marinated. If you're gonna leave it out for a long time, you definitely wanna stick this in the fridge. You don't wanna keep it out. But I literally like resting this for at least 45 minutes before it hits the grill. So it gets to room temperature. So I'm gonna kinda of leave this out because we're gonna go ahead and cook this right away. So it's not too bad. I'm just gonna let it marinate for a little bit here. So I'm just gonna set it over here and we'll go ahead and start on the beans. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use the Instant Pot today. Um, you guys all know that I love using this thing. So, and it makes everything so much easier. And we do have these beans that we're gonna use today. First time Jacob's tried these beans, so I'm kind of excited. Um, they're a yellow bean, which is nice. They're also a butter bean, um, which is even better, they're real buttery. With the game that he has, I don't wanna take away from the flavors. So I don't wanna just throw a bunch of crazy flavors in this tostada, so that way you can't try it. So I want to use this. It's gonna be a good setting for the, the tostada, so that way you can kind of taste the meat instead of just everything else. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna go ahead and get some bacon. We're gonna do real easy, bacon and onion. This is all I'm gonna stick in this and just a little bit of seasoning. So you don't have to do too much to these beans. Like I said, I'm gonna refry them so we don't have to worry about that. So I just want flavor. So I'm just gonna do about three pieces of bacon here and just chop it up. You don't have to worry about cutting it too uh, uniform because we're gonna go ahead and after this, instead of using oil and frying it, I usually throw mine in the blender, add a little bit of chicken broth or whatever and make them like that so there's a lot less fat for you. So we'll go ahead and stick this in here. Kick this guy on. So we're gonna put this on saute mode. That's another reason why I like this. I don't have to worry about getting the saute pan out, sauteing my bacon and then going back to this. I can do it all in one. 
And we're gonna go with an onion. Like same thing with this. I'm gonna cut it a little finer, but you don't really have to because it's all gonna incinerate. I just need about a quarter of this. So we're just gonna go about that. And toss that in here. We're gonna give this a saute real quick. So I'll be right back, we'll add the beans. And then the only thing else I'm gonna add, like I said, is a little bit of seasonings and then I got some chicken broth. All right, so now we just added a little bit of our chicken broth here. I'm gonna deglaze the pan a little bit. So I got all that yummy bacon that's been searing in here. So I'm just gonna kind of scrape the bottom, get all that lovely flavor up there. Then I'm gonna start adding my beans. So the beans, you definitely wanna make sure you look at them and when you pull them out, I did it the easier way so that way you can see, but clean them up, make sure there's no rocks. Because a lot of times when this product comes in, there's little rocks and if you bite into a rock, you're gonna break your tooth. Don't do that, it hurts. So I'm gonna start these around here. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put two cups of these in here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let these cook in the Instapot. They only take about 45 minutes. So like I said earlier, when you're doing this, um, you can use a pan, refry them if you want. I choose not to on this one just because I like the creaminess of the actual bean instead of a lot of lard or any kind of oil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop these into our blender and kind of just whiz them a little bit and add a little bit of liquid if I need to uh, change the consistency or whatever. But these are only gonna take 45 minutes, which is perfect because we got our meat already marinating and that's a good time for it to go. I'm gonna fire up the grill. Um, we'll be back here in a second. I'm gonna make us some pico de gallo to go on top of these. Like I said, we're gonna keep it kind of simple. So we'll be right back. All right, beans are on. Got them set for 45 minutes. We're gonna let those cook. We're gonna go ahead and make a quick little pico de gallo. So I use the little tomatoes because I like these little flavors that are in these different tomatoes. I always get the medley. Um, however big you want these to, you know, be on top of your tostada, that's up to you. I try to cut them some in half, you know, because they're all different sizes, but they all have really good flavor on them. So some of them are sweet, some of them are, you know, they just have a cool flavor to them. So I've always done this now instead of using regular aroma tomatoes or anything, but you can choose whatever tomato you have. And we're going to cut up some, uh, got some onion and we got some cilantro and we also have another jalapeno we're going to add to this. Then we're just going to top it off with a little bit of lime and salt and pepper. So nothing too big. Super easy, but lots of flavor. So we got that. We get some of this onion in there. We want to dice this up. Go here. Take the skin off. Just get a little fine dice. So you're just going to come along this here. Just like so. Take that off. I'm just going to cut it like that. We got some nice little dices. Perfect. So we're gonna add this to it. I'm gonna add some more tomato here. We're gonna have some of this cilantro. Love fresh cilantro. Add some of this to it. Jalapeno. This is up to you completely if you want to keep the seeds in it. I do because I like the heat. And then that's the name, pico de gallo. So you want to keep it hot. I've been made fun of for taking the seeds out before. They're like, you're not real Mexican, so I don't do it again. So we're going to go ahead and keep them in this time. Plus when you add your lime juice and your citric acid, it's going to mellow it out. So it's not going to be as hot as if you just tasted them right here. So we'll throw those in there. Get some lime. This is gonna be a perfect topping for these tostadas. We're also gonna use, I found really good avocados today too, so I'm excited. Nothing goes better on top of these than some nice fresh avocado. All right, so just like that, very easy. We're gonna mix this up, add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste, and we're good to go. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge so it gets nice and chill, and we'll be back to finish everything up. What's up guys, we're back. So our meat's been marinated for about an hour now. Our beans are just about done. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go outside, we're gonna grill this up, get some nice marks on it, and then we'll come back in and we'll form our tostadas. So we'll be right back, guys. So now our beans are done, so we're gonna go ahead and put those into the blender. I'm just gonna scoop these in here. 
Be careful when you're blending stuff that's really hot. Just make sure you have a towel on top. Sometimes when the heat it expands and the air inside of the blender will open the lid. It's happened to me before, so if you don't want to get burnt or have everything spray all over your kitchen, just have a towel on top just in case. Always put it on top. Perfect. Now I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna start this blender. I still have a little bit left, but like I said, I want to be, make sure that I don't burn myself. So put this on here. Set this up. So just get a towel. Make sure you're not gonna burn yourself. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna let those set for a little bit. I'm gonna go check my meat and we'll be back here and we'll make some tortillas here in a second. All right guys, we're back. We're gonna go ahead and fry up some of these tortillas. So what I usually do is I usually get a couple of them out. I have my pan going, so it's about medium hot. You just wanna make sure it's gonna be frying. You don't wanna to put too much oil in there because if you do, it's gonna shoot all over the place. And then I usually use a couple forks just to kind of flip it so that way I don't burn myself. Have a plate ready with a napkin so you can catch the grease off of them. So just like so. And you want to make them flat. We're not making tortilla or tacos. So if you want to make tacos, you can do it the same way. Just flip them over. I just usually get my forks and go around, flip it over, and try to get it nice and brown and crispy. Because this is what's going to hold all the stuff on it. So you want to make sure you get it nice and crispy. If you make it real soggy, then you're not going to have a tostada, you have a taco. So I'm going to do a few of these up and then we'll come back here and assemble. All right, guys, we're back. We're going to assemble this now. So we got our spread all ready to go. I got two different cheeses here and we also got our beautiful looking antelope. Look at that guy. It's amazing. So Jacob's going to be happy. I'm glad he bring this over today. So we're going to make some cuts here. So, now let's give him a little bit more. He looks like he's hungry. All right, let's go. Okay, perfect. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna assemble it. So we're gonna do the beans first. Look how nice and creamy those beans came out. They're amazing. That's about good. Let's gonna spread that out a little bit. Perfect. We're gonna throw on our cheese mix. I like cheese, so we're doing two different kinds here. Throw some of our shredded cabbage. Perfect. Let's put our meat on top here. And do some of this beautiful looking pico de gallo here in the middle. So, and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab an avocado. We're gonna go here and spin this guy around. Just like so. You can grab one of these spoons here and just kind of go around the edge just like so. Like that. Avocado on top here. Just like that. Save a couple of this meat here. So this is beautiful. And then we also got our fresh salsa that we made. I'm gonna top it with this guy here. Like so. And then last but not least, a little bit of cotija. To get a little saltiness to it. So it's a yummy cheese. All right. So we're all assembled, we're ready to go. I'm gonna get Jacob in here. We're gonna try this out and see what he thinks. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Jacob, thanks for bringing this stuff over, brother. You're gonna, I hope you're gonna enjoy this. We put a lot of effort into this. It looks great, tastes delicious. So I need your opinion now, brother. Hey, it looks, looks amazing. Perfect, so let's, let's try it. Yep, if you need any extra salsa, I got it too. Hear that beautiful crunch? 
Oh, yeah. Got you a napkin right there. Mike, out of the ballpark, bro. That is, yes. that is amazing. That is so amazing. God damn, I gotta have another one. <laughs> awesome. Well, like I said, thanks for subscribing, guys. Anyone else out there that wants to join me and cook, I have a few people on the list already, so don't think I forgot about you. Um, we want to do this more often. If you bring some cool stuff like this, that meat is amazing, man. I don't know where you got that from, but oh, I have 10 times better than beef for me. I don't know about you, but. That, that, is, that is amazing. That is so good. Cool. That well, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for coming out, Jacob, dude. You're fucking man. Thank you. I hey, and like I said, so yeah, we're going to get to eat, man. It's my turn, too. So, you guys take care. We'll see you next time. That was good. Wrap. Thanks, buddy. Yep.